Hello, my creatively intelligent artists. Welcome back to art class. In today's class, we are going to be doing the book that's called What If I Had Animal Here? While doing a bit of texture. Are you guys ready? Grab your materials and let's go. All right, we are going to start off with doing an eyeglasses because we want to add a little twist to our artwork. Let's start with a horizontal line for the lens of the glasses and then we will add a big U shape at the bottom. Now the next thing we're going to draw is the shape of our head. Some persons their head are round, some are oval, some are a bit rectangular shape, but it's up to you. You can draw your head how you would like it to be. For mine, I'm going to use an upside down U shape and a regular size U shape. And of course, I'm giving myself a big happy smile. You can give yourself a small smile. It can be a big happy smile. I'm, I love smiling. So I'm going to be showing my teeth. And of course, I wear braces. So I'm going to add my little braces design to my teeth. Just remember guys to have fun. And if I am moving too fast, you can always hit the pause button. Now it's time for us to add our nose and our neck. Now our nose uses a combination of curved lines or U-shape. And for our neck, we're using two vertical lines. You can make your neck as long as you want it to be. And for your shirt or your blouse, you can add any design of your choice. Now it's time for us to try out the different textures or animal hair texture. So the first one that we are going to start with is the giant pangolin. And the giant pangolin has scales that are hard. If I hear their hair is, it looks like scale, but they are hard and a bit spiky so if you want to add your hair texture just like the giant pangolin you can go ahead and do so our next animal that we are going to be doing the hair is the musk ox now the musk ox has the longest hair of all the wild animals and their hair is very shaggy so if you would like to have shaggy hair you can use the mox ox as your hair inspiration and their hair is very shaggy and soft <laughs> The next animals here that we will be doing is the arctic fox. Now the arctic fox hair is snow white in the winter and its hair is also used as fat. So if you want to have nice white flowing hair with longer strands, you can use the antarctic fox hair on your head.
Now, the next animal that we will look at is the star-nosed mole. Now, the star-nosed moles here is unlike any other animal's hair. It can lie flat in any direction. So, it looks as though it is like a starfish that's under the sea. So, if you want your hair to look like the star-nosed mole, then that is amazing. <laughs> Now, the next animal here that we're going to look at is the porcupine's hair. And of course, it is so pointed and sticky. So, if you want that rough pointed texture for your hair, then you can do your hair as the porcupine's hair. And the last one that we will be looking at is the lion. Now, the lion has that curly, wavy hair. Now, if you want the curly, wavy hair for yourself, then you can do your hair like the lion's hair. So for my hair, I have decided to do my hair like the porcupines. So I'm just going to use a lot of horizontal and vertical and diagonal lines to get that porcupine look. All right, guys, your artwork is looking great so far. You're doing an awesome job. <music> Because we are starting out a new year, I'm going to jazz up my glasses and give it a 2021 look. Now, if you want to add anything inside of your glasses lens or add any type of decoration to your eyeglasses, then that is fine, guys. Just remember to have fun.
when you are finished decorating your glasses you can go ahead and start coloring and you can use any colors of your choice just remember if i'm moving too fast to hit the pause button and continue to do an awesome job with you and our class today and i will see you next time bye